ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome your first fighter into the cage. From Bradford, Jabid Hurraman. And now, would you please welcome his opponent from Great Yarmouth? He is Chris the Honey Badger Hayes. Eyes wide shut, but they know they read a lie by the lies and they sow. They stride of a blind man's stroll. But for whom does the next bell toll? I'm too many years in the zone Too many years to have built what I own And many dumb fools try to take what I've grown But these roots go deep and you can't blood a stone So if you wanna push, I'ma shove If you wanna spar, we can do it, no gloves And if you're gonna run at me, you better do it hard Cause I fear no fall, no brawl, no scars I'm two pounds shy of a bomb I'm one shade short of a lawn I'm too past wrath and I'm calm. Got two last laughs in my palms. I'm three degrees west of a hurricane. Four wheel drive with a bowling chain. My five foot seven is irrelevant. I'm six, six, six. If you threaten my development, now see your wise man learns from your mistakes. And lets the blunders of his brother serve to fill his plate. So best be on your way before the tidal wave breaks. Cause you don't wanna come to meet the reaper that awaits. Live from Norwich, contendants present three five-minute rounds in the professional featherweight division. And in the red corner with a record of two wins and no defeats. Weighing in at 64 kilograms, fighting at a Bradford, Jabid Hurraman. And his opponent fighting at the blue corner tonight, he makes his professional debut. Weighing in at 64 kilograms, representing Hudrai K9. From Great Yarmouth, Chris the Honey Badger Hayes. 
Your referee in charge of the action, Daniel Moverheady. Here we go then, the first pro MMA of the evening. Featherweight dust up between Javid Rahman from Bradford MMA with the black shorts and the white gloves and pro debutant Chris Hayes with the blue with the yellow gloves, excuse me, and the black cycling shorts. Very interesting this Dean. Tough, tough fight for Chris Hayes, as I say. Javid Rahman unbeaten in eleven fights in his career and Chris Hayes hadn't had a hadn't had a MMA fight since two thousand seventeen. Yeah I mean looking at the tape, look at that double leg gonna look to change to a single. Looking at the tape they look like they're evenly matched skill wise but straight away look at this Hayes looking for the mount. Maybe the mounted tri inverted triangle here. And that is what Chris Hayes is known for. He's a very talented grappler. He's been away from MMA because Guillotine. he's been working on the grappling. And you see straight away that's what he thinks is going to be the key to this victory. Rahman doing the right thing though, passing to the opposite side of the choking arm. If he can trap that arm, there's potentially a Von Flew choke, but opposite look for the elbow, and in turn is now in the guard. He's got to be careful of the arm bar here, Mark. Hayes yeah. has got to try and get that foot, create the angle here, but Rahman, Rahman very aware of it. He's following the hips here. He's got to pull the elbow out. Looking now for the leg lock. And this is what Chris Hayes will do. We'll throw up all sorts of crazy submissions. Let's say he's very, very competent as a grappler. He likes to say that the ground is the ocean and he's a shark. Oh, Rahman's leg is belt and bent in a precarious way. But this is the thing. In pro MMA rules, you can get elbowed in the face when you're looking for the, the leg lock. So it's very, very important that you cover the face and expose the leg. Obviously, that's something that Chris Hayes has not had to deal with thus far in his career. Javi Rahman's got a heavy top game. He's got two wins by ground and pound. His two pro fights so far have both finished that way. He's again looking for the angle with his foot on the hip there, you see from the camera angle. The left foot is using that to try and circle and look in the ear of Rahman to obtain either the armbar or to switch up an invert for the leg lock here. Again, Rahman's staying very heavy. Could potentially go for the triangle, switching back to the armbar. Faster rev submissions being thrown up off his back by Hayes. This is what he does, man. He attacks off his back. Mm. It's all talking about watching the tape. They, they both kind of almost cancel each other out because they do the right things in their realms. Looking to expose that leg now. Going to flip over for the toe hole. Potentially a knee bar. Could switch to heel hook here. Oh, there's the heel hook there. He's fighting the hands, which tells you that it's tight, Mark. Oh. Freeze the leg, triangles the feet. Rahman doing the right thing here. He's got to escape. He's got to stuff the legs and get his leg out of his position. He's got to stuff the leg, clear his knee line. At present time, his knee is just inside the legs of Hayes. He needs to clear that knee line. Oh, oh there's the tap, Chris Hayes. This fight is over. Chris Hayes wins by submission on his debut. What a victory for Chris Hayes. He does it in the way we expect him to. Grappling, he was in the jaws of the Viper, Javi Rahman. Yeah, Rama just didn't escape the leg. He kind of nearly escaped, but left it inside. And uh, Hayes was able just to get that bite squeeze of the knees and uh, the, the top of the hill. For the hill, it's devastating as well. It ruins the ligaments in the knee. That's why you see here uh, Rahman on his back. So you can replay the single leg attempt here. And there was a guillotine attempt from Rahman. And there's a... Uh, briefly went to look for the mount, maybe the inverted triangle. This was the armbar attempt here, but he used that to drop his leg down, invert, and expose the leg here. He's, he's kicking on the body as well, Brahman, to make that leg nice and light. He was just constantly throwing up attack after attack after attack, yeah. wasn't he? Impressive, especially because Rahman was dropping those elbows. Mm. You know, he's still, he's still comfortable to invert for those leg locks. Look, he grabs the top of the foot to lever it around, switches, potentially looking for the knee bar, then switches it to the heel hook. He's going to look to bite the the heel there with the where, he'd, where his watch would be on his forearm and turn the top half of the leg. You can see here, look, boom, right there we go. And the tap was instant, devastating wow. submission. Hugely impressive debut for Chris Hayes then. And let's take him to the ring for the official decision. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Daniel Moverhead, he called stop the contest at two minutes and 41 seconds of round number one for your winner by heel hook. Chris, the Honey Badger Hayes. As wide shelf for 
Wow, what an impressive debut there from Chris Hayes. Right from just down the road in Great Yard, with not fought MMA for three years. Comes in, makes his debut against an unbeaten fighter. Takes him to the floor, ties him up, turns him into a pretzel and gets the tap down. Yeah, he'll get a very devastating position. A lot of no-gi guys on the grappling circuit are just absolutely ruining people's knees with that. You've got to tap quick, otherwise you're not going to walk right for six months. And he's going to be delighted with that, Chris Hayes. What a debut, what a place to do that, what a stage on which to win like that. Taking someone's O, getting the tap in the first round. As debuts go, you can't do much better than that.